Hey Ross World, my money makes money. What if you was homeless? Could you have prevented you being homeless prior to? Why do I have my shirt off? Because think about someone who is homeless. Nine times out of 10, they may start with clothes because previously, whatever they was doing, they had clothes. But sometimes, you may not have any clothes. You may be homeless and nude, kind of like the Terminator movie, right? Where you got to start off from scratch. <laughs> but this is the point. The symbolism in no shirt is the symbolism in no home. You feel quite naked if you don't have a home. So how do you prevent that? See, I'm trying to figure out how to get through to most of you to teach you these things so you don't make the same mistake twice. Homelessness, right? Homelessness. Now, we look at these homeless people. Some of us have empathy. Some of us have sympathy. And some of us have pity, right? We pity them because, oh, he, he could have stopped himself from doing that. And we absolutely have no idea what got him in that particular situation. But how do we stop ourselves from becoming homeless? Because right now you're thinking, oh, there's no way, right? Because you're in the prime of your life. You're anywhere from 25 to 45 and everything is working out for you. But riddle me this, are you doing the particular things that you need to do in order to set yourself up for success? This is nothing new, okay? I'm trying to give you these images, right? I'm trying to throw these words. I'm trying to throw these thoughts inside your head in order for you to go, oh, you have that aha moment, right? That epiphany to say, I've been going about this all the wrong way. You think that because you and your girls are going on a trip, knowing that you're going to afford, you're going to throw in your credit card and go further into debt. You and your boys, they're going on a singles tour or they're going to Barbados, or they're going to Belize, and you have no money, you think it's good to take out a personal loan. You think it's good to apply for your third credit card and then let that hit your account, and then you charge that account up. Are these really good ideas? Are these stupid ideas? And a lot of you are saying that's really stupid, but have you ever done it? And don't take those one or two example as the be all, because it's not. I'm talking about any dumb decision that could land you like this. The representation of homeless, okay? Shirtless equals homeless. Just think about that, okay? Because that's how you feel. Picture yourself right now having nowhere to go. Picture it. You have nowhere to go. The shelter saying you're too old, you don't have any kids, so we won't accept you. None of your family members or your friends will accept you. Now, a lot of you are saying, I know my family would take me in. I know some of my friends would take me in. But picture the opposite, okay? Because this is the thing. You're depending on another grown man and grown woman, and you are grown. You're an adult. And now you have to depend on them simply because you then make the right decisions with your finances. So now you're out in the cold with no shirt on. See? So it doesn't take a long time for you to understand this. The symbolism is there. The symbolism is no shirt, no home. This is a choice for most people, but for you, the whole no shirt, no home thing, it's gonna be your damn reality. This is Ross World. If you wanna be homeless, continue to do what you're doing with a smile on your face. Go deeper into debt. Don't save before your retirement. Don't contribute to your 401k. Don't invest. Don't budget and keep doing the same old things you're doing. This is Ross World. I wish you the best in your road to homelessness. I'm out.